out here first thing in the morning. This is Sam. I'm the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I was just out here a little under two weeks ago and I trimmed back all these banana plants. And since then, they have a lot of growth. And I'm going to go ahead and trim them back again this morning. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how and tell you why. So let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little walk around. And as you can see, the growth up here is right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, five, six, seven. Seven leaves. Now, the leaves come from the rhizome because that's the way bananas grow, a rhizome. Everything grows from the center and then stalks out up on the top. A little under two weeks ago, I had multiple leaves and I cut them back so there was just four on the larger ones. And then the pups below, I went ahead and did a separation video and I also went ahead and cut the leaves back a little under two weeks ago. So, since all the uppers right now have over five, they have five six seven i'm going to cut them back to five on the bigger ones on the smaller pups i'm going to cut them back to about three we'll see how that looks in a minute but first i'm going to start on top i'm going to go ahead and trim these back i'm going to drop them to the ground and then once i'm done i'm going to go back up and chop them because it's chop and drop for fertilizer never waste any of your plants chop and drop it it adds nutrients back into the ground but it, it is a good thing to go ahead and keep removing your upper leaves on your plants a good rule of thumb is when you get five or more depends how quickly they grow cut one back so you just leave four this will put the plant in a growing stage. It knows when you separate leaves that it has to grow more. So that means it shoots up quicker. And the base, right here, the base down below also gets thicker. So it's growing thicker and it's growing taller. Now, your banana plants sort of have a little brain they're a living plant and instinctively they know how many leaves going up it takes before they want to shoot out a blossom or a bud a flower that's going to create blossoms to turn into bananas now if you want it to reach that stage quicker so you can have bananas you want to trim them if you don't care about them, just leave all your leaves and let it grow naturally. But it's still a good idea to trim off all the bottom ones when they brown instead of just leaving them to go wild. It's good to have that breeze goes through. It's good to just not leave, leave them alone. So, in my case, I like trimming them all up. That's my preference. I like them to grow quicker. I like them to be healthier, so I fertilize a lot with chop and drop. And I also use compost tea that I make, and we'll get into that as well. And as a result, I have a lot of pups on each of my plants. Now, I separated some of them. Some of them had as much as six on there. Well, when they're shooting out a lot of pups, I don't separate them when they're small. I let them get to a decent size and a decent thickness. That gives the corm on the bottom of the pup a chance to sprout out a lot of roots. And then when I go ahead and separate it from the parent plant, it's, it's off to a good race. And then I could pot them or I could plant them or do whatever I want to do with them. But that's how you multiply your banana plants and send more energy to the parent plant when you trim off the branches <laughs> okay when you trim off the leaves 
or fronds or rhizomes that are coming out you know you could use the terminology you want it allows for more energy to get up there well when you go ahead and separate the pups see those pups are coming out of the corm of the parent plant so it those those pups are taking energy from the parent plant so when you separate them all of a sudden the parent plant's going to have more energy to grow up and go ahead and produce a bud that's going to produce your blossoms that's going to produce your banana plants or that's going to produce your bananas and also it's very important to have them well watered I planted a lot of mine on a pond that I dug just for this purpose and I used the hookah culture method on just about all of my banana plants and then also I fertilize a lot they need a lot of fertilizer so once a week or twice a week when they're fruiting I go ahead and fertilize with compost tea that I make at a Mexican sunflower and Comfrey Bakken 14 and I'll show you how I do that here shortly too so anyway let's get on with this video okay you have to start somewhere so I'm gonna start with this banana plant right here and I have to face the camera so it's not gonna get the whole banana plant down from the bottom up if I got the whole banana plant in there the camera will be far away and the ponds there so that ain't gonna happen as it is now I got to make sure my camera don't fall into the water which it has in the past so with that said I got my machete right here which I like using I also have a pair of scissors you could do it either way but when they get taller a machete gives you that extra two foot of reach where the scissors won't so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna count one two three four five six seven there is five six seven there's seven on there so I want to cut it back to four so I'm gonna remove three so this right here you always want to look for the bottom that shoots out Okay, I just bought a brand new machete and it's not doing good. Let me go get my other. Okay, got rid of that machete. Brand new. I just opened it out of the package. I was in Harbor Freight the other day and I purchased it brand new. Not even sharp out of the box, but this one here is good. So let me continue. So now I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I removed one. So let me go ahead and take this bottom one off right here by doing this. Boy, look at that difference, huh? This one cut through like butter. Unbelievable. So now I got one, two, three, four, five, and I want four. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one right here. Okay, so now there's one, two, three, four. Four left on there, so the energy could go up and that could grow taller while they're at the base and send out a bud that's going to send out blossoms that's going to produce bananas a lot quicker than it normally would so let's go ahead and do some others okay so hey here i am in front of this one here and there's one two three four five six and there's one coming out of that so there's seven on here so let me cut them back once again, this is the lowest one. So I'm going to remove it. This is the second lowest one. So I'm going to remove it. This is the third. Right here. So now I'm leaving one, two, three, four. Leaving four on that. Now these pups need to be done too, but let me get the tops first. It's just easier when I do it that way with the video. Okay, here I am in front of this one. Let's see what it's got. It's got one, two, three, 
four, five, six on this. So let me go ahead and cut two off. Got one, two, and that's leaving on there. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Okay, so on this one right here, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me remove three. Here's the bottom one right here. Here's the next bottom one. And here's the next. So that leaves one, two, three, four. So there's four left on there now. All right, let's catch the other ones. Okay, so right over here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me cut two off. Here's one. Let's get this one right here. Here's two. Let me put that on. And that leaves one, two, three, four. So there's four on there. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, so right over here, this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me cut this one off. Let me cut this one off. And now there's one, two, three, four. I left four on. Okay, so now this one, same thing. This one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna remove that one and that one and that one. That leaves one, two, three, four. Okay, so now all of the taller banana plants have four. Now let me go ahead and get the pups. Okay, before I squat down, I always look around me to see what's under the plants and what's in back of me. I don't want to get struck by a moccasin that comes out of the pond. Who knows? So, right over here, I got a number of different pups. So I'm going to reach down below. And I'm going to remove the small leaves on the bottom. And work my way up on all of them. Okay, so right there you can pretty well see I trimmed the smaller leaves on up. I left like two or three on there, so they'll shoot up even further. A little bit more airflow. I need to come back and pull out some weeds by the roots. Gonna do that another time. And then, so I need to take these leaves and do a little chop and drop. Okay, so I cut these off. Okay, so I cut the bigger leaves up. 
drop them to the ground. And then I take, take all the cuttings and I drop it right at the base of the plant, all the way around, try to get it as even as you can. And you can probably see that now, down in there, that's chop and drop. So I'm utilizing the foliage or the rhizome leaf that I cut off on the top and the smaller pups on the bottom and I chop them up and I put them around that's going to decay and it's going to wash in nutrients into the ground okay that sun's coming out good and strong so I can't see that screen so let me go ahead and do these I got the leaf I'm going to chop and drop Just like this, all the way around. Okay. Let's go ahead and come over here. Okay, so on these pups, I want to do the same thing. I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and cut and chop and drop at the same time. Now I'm going to take the bigger fronds. I'm just going to put them around the plants like that and in between. Okay, so it's tops, the top is trimmed, the bottom's trimmed, and I chop and drop. All that over a couple days will decompose and go down in. Okay, so. I'm going to take some of my bigger stuff here and cut it. Okay, so same thing over here. I want to cut these pups. I want to chop and drop them to the ground like that.
Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of these larger ones here, just like this. Okay, these are all trimmed up and I chop and dropped it. Let's go down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same with this. Okay, so these are trimmed up and chopped and dropped. Got one more to go. Okay, so let me trim these up and chop and drop. Okay, so these are trimmed up. I chop and dropped all the leaves. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I did the top. All the all the larger ones got four. And I trimmed up the bottoms and I chop and drop. All the way around like that.
and all the tops okay so I'm facing the camera towards me because the Sun is over here glaring so I'll tilt my hat like that <clears throat> keep the Sun out of my eyes so these right here are trimmed up nicely and chopped and dropped and all I gotta do is fertilize them with compost tea but I do this pretty consistently every week every other week I take a look at them see what their growth is like and when they're ready I chop them drop them to the ground I walk my property daily to see what all my plants are doing and I try to stay up on everything that I'm doing I have a lot of banana plant videos from separation to planting to fertilizing to uh, harvesting to supporting them up just look below on my banana playlist and there's plenty of them so for right now I have to go around and trim and chop and drop some other banana plants this morning and it's already so hot out here in Florida I can't wait for us to have a cold spell but I don't slack on this I do it consistently and like I said your plants are gonna have more energy they're gonna grow taller they're gonna produce more rhizome leaves that you could go ahead and cut off and eventually it knows it sprouted enough leaves that it's gonna drop a blossom or that it's gonna drop a flower the flower is going to have a lot of blossoms that are going to get pollinated and that's going to be your bananas so if your main goal is to have bananas quick or more bananas quicker or even healthier and plumper bananas what I'm showing you here is how I go ahead and take care of my plants I got videos from digging in the ground and using the method that I use for a compost gives them a good rich healthy base they all my banana plants shoot up and shoot out a lot of pups and produce nice healthy hands of bananas and if you want yours to grow quicker and produce better check out some of my videos I'm doing this for you this is my normal workload I just decided at one point I might as well bring a video camera with me and film it to try to help people that are watching that want to get the type of pro results that I get I know I go to the extreme on what I do but there'll be a happy medium for you in there to absorb what I'm showing you and you're gonna be a better gardener so let's get on with it okay so over here is a replacement banana pup right over here I had a banana plant that produced a rack of bananas and I went ahead and harvested it so I chopped it down this is the replacement it needs to be trimmed the ones that are bearing fruit you don't want to touch them once they go ahead and bear fruit you just want to trim or separate the pup so let me cut this Okay, I'm gonna come back in here probably tomorrow morning and weed this and and repile those up but I want to show you the um, the bananas okay so this tall plant over here has bananas there you go there are the hands 
It's still producing male blossoms, which has a lot of pollinators around them. They, I leave them there so the pollinators stick around and know where to come. Okay. So let's go over here to this one. I have to trim this one up. And as you can see over here, there's a lot of hands of praying hands. And there's a blossom on that one too with a lot of pollinators. Of course, those are male blossoms, but they still keep attracting the pollinators, so I leave it there. I don't trim any more of the rhizomes that went ahead and leafed out because it's has fruit on it. The same with the thing with that. Once they have fruit, you don't do it. Okay. Okay, so right over here, I'm going to trim this one up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to cut one, two, and that leaves one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and chop it up. Now this is the replacement for that. Okay, that's it. That's chopped, it's dropped. Let's go over here. Okay, so right over here, this is my Hugo Culture banana bed. It goes all the way down around 85 feet around my flagpole right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these up real quick. Okay, so you see how quick it is when you don't have the camera, you can just go by and do it. Now after I put the camera away, I'm going to go ahead and remove the mulch from the bottom and pack, cut, and put the chop and drop there. So let me finish over here. Okay, let's go down to the other section and get my ice cream bananas. Okay, made a quick pick stop. I just wanted to show you. These are my Mexican sunflowers over here. These came out of my fence, which are protecting it from deer. And you can see the deer came in and they chewed off the leaves on what came out of the fence. If I didn't have that deer proof in, the fence with the cable on top, all my plants on the inside of that, will be chewed up just like this. Let's get on with it. Okay, over here I have my ice cream banana plant. I just planted these a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna show you the results. But let me go ahead and trim these up. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna cut this back right there. I'll come back and chop this up. Well, let me do it now. Okay, this right here is one of my ice cream banana plants that I planted a few weeks ago. And down on the bottom, I got one, two, three, four. Four pups already coming out of the ground. This was just planted about three weeks ago or so. Look down below, you'll see the video of me planting them. So I think that's pretty cool. So when I chop and drop and there's um, sprouts, new pups coming up, I don't lay anything over them.
Instead, I put it laying down around them. Okay, so this has got one, two, three, four on that. Okay, so this is chop and drop, and I put it around, and I left the pups exposed. So let me give you a close-up of that. Okay, here's a nice-sized pup. Here's a pup just breaking ground right there. There's another pup. And over here is another pup. So you can see, I leave those exposed, that way they grow. Okay, so let me chop and drop these really quick. Okay, so right over here you see, I just did my screen banana plants. I got all these planted. I got the video below. There are about four feet of compost in the ground. I did them up hookah culture style. And as you can see, they're taking off really nicely. And some are shooting out pups. But since I planted them, they're shooting up and filling in. And I'm really grateful of the results that they're getting. So with that said, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go back around and dig out my hookah culture ones there and get the chop and drop in where the mulch is right now. And I'm going to go ahead and fertilize with compost tea tomorrow morning. I just went ahead and chopped and dropped over there, and the sand hill cranes are just enjoying. Let's go take a peek. They're actually in there, and they're chopping with their beaks at the chop and drop. Let's see if they'll do it if I hold still. And they're actually messing with my banana plants as well. You can notice on the ground they already moved all the chop and drop. Look what they did. They made a mess out of it. So I got to put all this back. You got to love wildlife, but it's nature, and they're curious, and they like getting in there, and they like getting all the insects that are down below. So they get in there, and they remove my chop and drop, because after it's sitting down there a little bit, you got frogs in there, you got grubs, and other insects 
that they just love and they know when they move that stuff that they're gonna see one run out so anyway I'm back over here let's go ahead and put this chop and drop down okay I just planted these not too long ago and the mulch is up against the base so I want to go ahead and pull some of this mulch away like that Just like that. Now I'm gonna take this and wrap it. Just to fill in what I just did there, like that. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do to these. Okay, this one I already done. Here's some chop and drop. So I'm going to put this around the base. Same thing over here. Okay, so you notice on these, I just kind of like fold it into fours and then I could just wrap it like that. Okay, this one I got to pull a little bit of mulch away and put this around it. away on on this one here and this one here Okay, just a quick note. When you remove the mulch, you're not removing it because it's on the plant. You're just removing it so the chop and drop is around the plant. This mulch, you could pile it all the way up to where the leaves are. And on a full grown plant, you could pile it up, up to three feet off the ground. It's actually good for the banana plant to have chips piled up. In the winter time, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to pile it up all the way to here. It'll probably be taller, but if it was a full grown plant, I would put about two to three foot of mulch around. So if we have a frost, that's going to protect the corn down below. There's a little tip for you. So anyway, that concludes this trimming up and chopping, dropping my banana plants video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel to see some of the other videos that I come up with. Like I say, I work out here daily and I bring the camera when I think there's something that somebody would enjoy and get something out of. So, hope you got something out of it. Subscribe, like, talk to y'all soon.